It's been three weeks to the day since a former student shot and killed a teacher and a student here at Central VPA and injured seven others. People have not been back in the classroom since this has happened, but they are pivoting to virtual learning today. Over the weekend, teachers held a fundraiser in order to help students with the healing process. They made t-shirts honoring the lives of 15 year old Alexandria Bell and teacher Jean Kuska. A few CVPA teachers decided to sell these shirts for $15 at the foundry in Midtown on Saturday and Sunday. They say every penny will be used to help students as it's needed. As teachers put away the t-shirts and get back to their lesson plans, there are still ways you can donate to the CVPA Strong Fund. Dana Fisher teaches English and speech and debate at Central VPA. She says anyone who'd like to make a donation can write a check to Central Visual and Performing Arts High School. She also gave us an idea of what learning will look like this week. The focus is going to be on making sure that our students are okay, providing them with those resources, and also focusing on academics. I know um, I have mostly seniors, so We'll be working on college applications. The Collegiate School of Medicine and Bioscience shares a building with Central VPA, and those students and faculty are returning back to in-person learning today. Administrators are saying as far as Central VPA goes, it's still undecided when students will be back to learning in person, but an announcement is expected to be made soon. All students in the St. Louis Public School District will be off next week for the Thanksgiving break. Reporting in South St. Louis, I'm Laura Simon.